Hi, welcome to my basic HTML skills demonstration. This is just a basic page that makes an API call and displays local weather information to the viewer. As you can see, we have the town, the current temperature outside, the local weather conditions, and a description for the local weather conditions. Now the first thing the user will see when they access the page is the loading screen, as well as a prompt asking them to let the browser know its location. If they block it, they'll just give you an error message. And if they allow it, the page will show. Here is the source code. The CSS and the JavaScript are all on the same page. As you can see, the CSS just deals with basic transitioning, coloring, basic shadows, and positioning, as well as the uh, fonts. The JavaScript sets up some global variables and handles the HTML loading function, which I hook into right here. The first thing that happens is we check for the geolocator, as well as handle any errors that happen from trying to get the geolocator. We'll grab the current position, go to get to local weather. That will store some of the global variables, as well as set up the HTTP call. And that basically just hands the latitude and the longitude as the arguments as well as the app ID. Uh, this is the key I use for openweathermap.org. Open and ideally, it wouldn't be exposed like this. You'd have a server behind the uh, web page and handling that kind of stuff. But for now, since this is just a local page and it's just for my personal use, it's not really a big deal that it's exposed. The callback for the requests is right here. We check for the ready state, status, etc. If there's anything that's not normal, we just go straight to the error. But if everything is normal, we grab the information. Well, after we parse it with JSON, we'll get the name, the, the uh, weather condition data, the icon for it, and the temperature. And then once we get the temperature, we'll convert it because it comes back in Kelvin. We need to change it to Fahrenheit. And then after that happens, we set the data for the actual UI components. That's happening right here. After that happens, we swap out the divs. We'll get rid of the error div, hide the loading div, and then make the info div visible. And that is basically this page. There's not much else to it, aside from the divs over here. It's a simple, clean, handles errors. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a decent page. I'm sure there's some things I could clean up about it. But it's just supposed to show basic skills and being able to manipulate code in, uh, without having to like go through tons and tons of complications or anything like that. All right, thanks for watching.